Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to attach a bolt snap onto a hose. So there are lots of different ways of attaching hoses onto yourselves. There are lots of different clips and things. Um, but when you start to get into more sort of advanced technical diving, then there's really sort of one sort of way to do it. There, there are lots of ways to do it, but this is the best one that I've ever come across. Um, because if you're using cable ties or whatnot, yes, it's secure, but you can sort of twist them free. Uh, there's a few other ways, but they tend to be a bit more perishable. Uh, this way it's semi-permeable, so you're physically tying the bolt snap onto the hose, but if it's ever snagged or whatever, you can still cut it free and uh, sort of get yourself out of a jam. Um, so this is how I like to attach the um, uh, bolt snaps onto my hoses. Let's take a look and see how. Okay, so this is what we're aiming for. So this is my uh, my submersible pressure gauge. Um, so on that, I've got a large um, sort of eyes bolt snap on that. I tend to have it about a fist's width away from the main thing, and that's what I'm gonna do on the second stage as well. Um, it just gives you a decent sort of control. It's really easy to find, and, uh, and it's easy to control um, and uh, sort of locate that bolt snap. So, um, so we're tying it off using um, just standard lines that you get on a traditional spool, um, which is one reason why I, uh, I think that they sort of overspin it. Um, but it just means that when you get a brand new spool, because you have so much excess line on it, I usually sort of take a lot of time and um, take a lot of uh, that excess line off of it, and then I can use it for this kind of thing. So you're gonna need some line. Um, I'll cut that off and show you sort of how much you need of that. You're gonna need a knife, obviously, a decent sharp knife. Uh, you're gonna need a lighter just to trim up the ends and make sure it's nice and secure. And of course, you're gonna need a bolt snap. So. For your gauges, I tend to have a large eye bolt snap. For your second stages, for any accessories like a torch or a, uh, or a reel or something, I tend to have a small eye, uh, just so that it's a bit more compact because you don't need to control it by putting your finger through the eye. Uh, you just need to be able to sort of attach it onto something. Uh, so you don't need a whopping great big bolt snap. A, uh, a small, uh, sort of dinky one will do. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna put that away for one. Second, so when we're attaching it onto a second stage, we're gonna have it about a hands or a sort of closed fists distance away. Um, but first of all, we're going to measure off how much line. So I tend to cut off from the tip of my finger down to my elbow, I tend to use about that much. If you want a little more slack, that's fine, um, but that's usually a good um, sort of starting point and that way you're not wasting too much. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut that off and then trim up these ends with a lighter um, because these will just fray. It's best to use really dry line. Mine's a little bit wet from my previous dive. So just melt it off and then I tend to flatten it against the metal section of the, uh, the lighter and that way it can't um, sort of fray and it makes it a little bit easier to thread through things. Same again on this one. Just going to tidy that up. Wait until it's bubbling and then push it against the metal. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Put that to one side. So find the middle of the line and you're gonna pass that through the eye of the bolt snap and then over the bolt snap to create that kind of knot. Okay, now we can start. So again, measuring about a fist's distance away from the second stage. Um, that way, you know exactly where it is. It's, it's more natural to the touch, so you can find it easily, and you can control the second stage and clip it off really easy. So we're gonna pass that under the hose, and then back through the eyes, or the eye of the bolt snap, and try and make it as neat and tidy as possible. You're only gonna do this once, really. Just double check your distancing, so that's fine. And then we're gonna go around the hose once more, except this time we're gonna go through the eye. Just gonna tidy that up a little bit. Back through the eye with both ends of the string. 
pull it nice and tight because you don't want it sliding around. You want that to stay exactly where it is on the hose. If that bolt snap just slides along that hose, it's not really doing its job. So make sure you're keeping it nice and tight. And then this time, instead of going under the hose, we're just going around the eye of the bolt snap. I'll try and do it so you can see on this one. And then on this side, you're just gonna tie a square knot. So one under the other and pull it nice and tight. Finish off that square knot by doing it again. And then flip it to the other side, again around the side of the bolt snap. And this really sort of pulls everything together, keeps it nice and tight. If I just turn it around so you can see. Again, another square knot underneath that nice and tight and then finish that off and pull that tight. So this is where you might want a little bit more um, sort of slack so you can really get some kind of leverage on that um, but if you don't want too much waste um, you can just have that length line. Okay cutting it off if you leave about a centimeter of line where you um, cut it off because we're gonna have to melt this down do that side first and you want to melt it down not just to um, uh, sort of seal that stop it from fraying you want to melt it down all the way down to the knot so that way even when the line gets wet and even when there's kind of tension on the line it's not going to uh, sort of pull through because you've got this massive melted plug on it and then again just flatten it down to the knot wait a second and then that's a nice and secure. Do the same on the other side. So we're just going to cut that off about a centimeter away from the knot. Of course, be super careful that you're not going to um, burn your, your hose. And then when it's melted down, push it down into the knot. Wait a second for it to, um, to sort of seal, and there we have it. So double check it's exactly where you want it, um, and, uh, and that's it. So that way it's nice and secure. It's not gonna slide down the hose, it's gonna stay sort of in the correct position. Uh, you can still sort of access that bolt snap, it's really easy to use. And, um, and if you're ever kind of stuck, you need to uh, ditch it, you can cut that free with a knot. <laughs> Okay, so that was a quick and easy way to attach a bolt snap onto a hose. Uh, you can do the same for your torches and whatnot, any accessories that need a uh, bolt snap so you can clip it off. Um, that's, that's the best way that I've found, but let us know in the comments how you attach bolt snaps onto your hoses and why. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.